Hello friends, my name is Akash. In this video, we are going to learn how to import and export Excel data in SQL Server. I will go in Visual Basic. I have already inserted a module. I am going to export the Excel, our Excel data in SQL Server. Export. I have already added a tools Microsoft ActiveX Data Object Library. You can add in your system. Now I declare some variable SQL Here I need to declare some variable D. Also, I required a variable team connection string strs string. Here you have to give the connection string who can be. You have to go in insert. Data. You have to go in data section. Go in from other sources. You have to go in from SQL Server. Now. You have to sequence service. You can select dot here. Then next. Then you have to select your your database name. We have working to Excel database. This is my Excel table. You can you are just finish. You need to go in properties definition. Then you have to just copy all these things. You can cancel here and just paste it here. So just paste it under. Going to open the connection. Connection. Here you required. You can give the connection string. Now I am going to open the SQL record set. SQL. Then here you need to click the source. Source will be our database name. What you can see our database name is Excel. You can see this is my our Excel table. The database name is Excel database, and I'm going to just run this. 
you can see here all the user code of presentation in the this is my header we have created excel table then user where character product then you can create in any own sql server now here i am going to give the excel table the table name connection is our connection string now i'm going to use for loop for r equal to our data excel data is from row 2 r, r is for row and I am going to use one more for loop for column. For loop will be one times and column will be four times. Equal R S equal R S equal for time and R S Here you have to add first SQL RS and here you have to give the RS equal to equal to equal to You need to give the SQL RS for SQL. It can be add, add, and update, then again add, then again update one by one. Now our code has been done. I am going to insert a shape to assign this macro. Right click, edit name, export. Right click, assign macro, then you can select and OK. Third. Our SQL Server window, this is our Excel window, and this is our code window. We will save this code and I am going on the Excel window. I am going to just click. We need to wait sometimes to run this window. Would have been done. Now I am going to again. You can select and execute this query. Then you can see here all the our Excel data has been exported to our SQL Server. 
you can see uh, the you can see the total number of which 5984 5984 what's I think our data is on this I'm going to it is Then you can see nine four two seven rows have been exported. Here you can see here uh, nine four two seven or row has been added in SQL Server. Thank you for this video. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to get more updates related to this video. In next video, I will update how to import data from SQL Server to our Excel sheet.